A turbocharger is basically a air compressor that takes in air, compresses it, and blows it into the motor. It makes more power and it makes it efficiently. Any internally combusted engine that uses gasoline and compression can use a turbocharger. In most cases, when people upgrade their car with power, they're using that power on the street. But if you're not using it, a turbocharger can actually give you more gas mileage because it is atomizing the air. When it's not being producing boost, it's actually atomizing the air, causing it to burn better. So you don't get as much fuel, unburned fuel through the system. You actually use up all your fuel and you'll get better gas mileage. But if you're also in it, using the boost all the time, it'll take away 25 to 30 percent of your fuel economy. Wastegate is basically a bypass valve that is installed on the hot side before the turbocharger. This will, it's a little valve that has two, it's got an inlet and an outlet. Um, exhaust gases come in here before the turbo and this will regulate how much the wheel, the turbine wheel and the turbo spins. When you're turbocharging a motor, this is what's gonna come off. This is a stock exhaust manifold that typically comes from the head where the exhaust is, goes down and hooks up to your exhaust and goes out the back of the car. We take this off and replace it with a turbo, which this is the hot side of the turbo. You replace that manifold with this manifold, this log manifold that the turbo sits on. So now you've got a collector where it takes all four cylinders exhaust into one area that goes inside the turbine housing. The turbine housing is the hot side. It is bolted up to the manifold and the turbo sits on, on the front of it. You have the exhaust coming out the back and here's the wastegate, basically the gate we talked about, the bypass valve that's before the turbo on the bottom side of the manifold and that just happens to be the way this manifold is set up. The only limit to power is how much fuel you can deliver to the motor and how well you can build the motor to handle the power.